In Japan, a, quote, large number of U.S. Marines stationed in Okinawa have tested positive for the coronavirus. According to officials, uh, the base not releasing details on the number of Marines infected, citing operational security. Uh, Japanese officials are giving numbers, though. Uh, Kaori and Joji joins us now uh, from Tokyo. Um, this, this comes, uh, there's long been an uneasy relationship between the U.S. military and some of the people on Okinawa. I guess this isn't helping. Absolutely, Michael. Uh, there is growing anger and deep concern uh, after a total of two, 62 cases were confirmed among U.S. military personnel and their families at three different U.S. military facilities uh, last week. And uh, this is putting uh, the truce between the Japanese island of Okinawa and the U.S. military station there uh, to the test. Uh, yet again, the truce has been tested time and time again uh, when there are accidents or crimes. And this time it's being tested by a pandemic. Uh, it took days for the U.S. military to confirm the number on Saturday, and they say these uh, cases were counted over a period of five days last week. Uh, the governor of Okinawa said he was shocked, shocked because Okinawa has been virus-free or no new cases of COVID-19 in Okinawa for two months uh, now. And then uh, the governor says he saw U.S. military personnel partying, and he wants more information about these COVID-19 cases because they want to do better contact tracing. Um, listening to the governor's comments, using words like very regrettable, uh, it's clear that he walks a very uh, fine tightrope between balancing the interests, the security interests of Japan, because Washington is the bedrock of Japan's security policy, and ensuring the health of his constituents. Um, residents tell me that this time around, around this time in Okinawa, it's pretty busy because a lot of U.S. military personnel like to move their families in and out of the island at time to when the schools start in the U.S. around September. So given the explosive number of cases that we're seeing on the mainland, uh, the worry is mounting among residents of Okinawa, Michael. During this pandemic, Hong Kong has really felt almost like a safe zone. They took action very early on to close the borders, test everyone coming into the city for COVID-19, mandatory 14-day quarantine for incoming travelers. And so they pretty much have effectively been able to prevent the virus from coming in from the outside. But what they have not been able to get a handle on now are locally transmitted cases. In fact, a record daily high in the number of locally transmitted COVID-19 cases here in Hong Kong. And the numbers are going up every day. They're still relatively small by comparison. I mean, keep in mind, this is a city densely populated. Seven million people live here. Fewer than 1,400 coronavirus cases so far and only seven deaths. But if these numbers keep going up and if this virus starts spreading in the community, if people are walking around and they don't know they have it, health experts know those numbers could shoot up exponentially and that could be very bad for Hong Kong. They have been able to identify three clusters of infection in restaurants and bars, in taxis and in senior care centers. So in each of those areas, they're now taking steps to test more people. They're uh, imposing more restrictive social distancing measures that begin this weekend. So in restaurants, only eight people can sit at a table together. And at bars and nightclubs, only four people can sit at a table together. People are supposed to wear masks at all times if they're not eating or drinking. Uh, they're trying to trace uh, you know, who has been riding in taxis with drivers who may have been infected, although that's tough here in Hong Kong because a lot of people pay cash. Don't get a receipt. You have no idea who's coming in and out of the taxi. And at senior centers, they need to test more people. They need to test more of the workers at those centers so that they can try to find out who has this virus and get them isolated as quickly as possible so that more people don't continue to walk around Hong Kong, perhaps unknowingly spreading this virus and making this third wave a whole lot bigger than even the two previous waves. Will Ripley, CNN, Hong Kong.